So the First World War is generally remembered uh, for the conflicts in places like Gallipoli and in France and Flanders in the trenches. But there's actually a huge role that Seaplow plays in facilitating the Allied victory, allowing resources uh, to be drawn from all across the globe, from places like Australia and the United States, and applied uh, in the trenches in the, the so France and Flanders, um, and also by preventing the Germans and other central powers from being able to access the resources themselves. So you see this two-way effect of, of sea power in facilitating Allied victory and at the same time uh, blockading and slowly shutting down the German war economy. The Navy uh, is often seen as the sort of the silent partner um, in, in the First World War. Uh, the big battle of Jutland doesn't really seem to achieve very much um, and the submarine campaign is seen as a bit of a, a, a disaster. But actually it's the slow effect of, of economic warfare which is facilitated by the Navy which is their crucial role in, in Allied victory. It's largely been, been forgotten and it's one of the things which, which historians have been trying to draw out in, in the centenary, the fact that, that so much attention is, is focused on, on the troops in the Western Front. Um, but the, the bigger picture of, of the global conflict that was the First World War um, is something which has slowly been, been sort of brought forward in, in the centenary. Mm -hmm.